Hello, everybody, and welcome to the latest episode. Unfortunately, our guest has been having some technical issues, and we can't get her connected. So we've been trying for about 30 minutes, and even though she can see and hear me, I haven't been able to see or hear her. So we'll try and reschedule with her. Uh, I've pinged one of our, our guests for next week, and I've asked him if he can join us, but he hasn't seen his email yet. So anyway, I thought uh, I would just maybe chat with you guys until we see if he can join us. So anyway, I'm, I'm on vacation so with my wife and her family, so I'm sitting in some dim light on the balcony where I was trying to get a little bit of peace and quiet away from everybody. So uh, I'm down in Phuket uh, enjoying, the, enjoying the scenery. So if we actually have any viewers and you have some questions and you want, you know, maybe we can just do a QA. and a You can fire your questions at me, but I'm not sure I can actually see it. Yeah, because I don't have YouTube up, so I wouldn't be able to see it anyway. So I see we have eight people watching us. So uh, why don't we give it a couple minutes and we'll see what can happen. So if you're just joining us, uh, as I said, our, our guest has been unable to join. We've been trying to get her um, and uh, she hasn't been able to connect. Uh, it, it shows that she's in the stream. It shows that she's connected, but for whatever reason, she can see and hear me, but I, can't, I cannot hear her and she's not showing up on screen. So we don't know what the technical issue is, but we'll keep working on it. Anyway... So uh, a little bit of background on, uh, so she's a, a ex-Muslim activist. She's working with people in, in Malaysia, which is a Muslim country. So obviously she's in trouble uh, or she could get into trouble there. So uh, it was too bad that we, we couldn't get her on because we, we had quite a bit of interest in, in, in having her, but we will definitely bring her on in the future. We'll, we'll do a, a test run and we'll make sure we get all the kinks worked out ahead of time. We always try to get people online at least 30 minutes ahead so we can test these live ones. But for whatever reason, we just couldn't make it work tonight. So anyway, this woman is also one of our volunteers at the Atheist Support Network. And uh, as some of you may know, the Atheist Support Network uh, is, a, is a group of volunteers that helps people from around the world, primarily from the Muslim countries who call us up and ask for help. Uh, in a lot of cases, they're asking us to help asking us to help relocate them, which obviously AAI is a non-governmental organization. We don't, we do not have those resources. We can't do that kind of thing. But what we can do in the meantime is offer moral support. We offer a little bit of financial support where, where we can for people who are in hiding and, and need a bit of cash. So she is one of those generous volunteers who gives of her time to, to talk to people around the world who are in need. So Anyway, we're coming up on a few minutes past. We have not had our, our guest for next week has not been able to connect with us. Uh, so it doesn't look like this week's episode is going to happen. So I do apologize to everybody who, who had bookmarked us in their calendar. Uh, we do have the uh, for next week, who I was, I was hoping would might be able to join us tonight, is uh, John Richards, who is a former board member of AAI, who is president of Atheist UK. Uh, he's, our, he's our guest for next week. So we'll have him on, and I, I was kind of hoping I could get him last minute to come on. Uh, we also have Chris Johnson coming up, uh, who some of you uh, may know from, from his book. And we also have a, a guest who is uh, Steven Pinker, who has said he, he was trying to get on in November. Steven Pinker is going to try to get on uh, in December and talk about his new book, Rationality. Oh, well, and I see we have some comments coming in. So what do we have? Uh, what about atheists inside Afghanistan under the Taliban regime? Well, we're trying. I, I know, I think we've gotten one person out. Obviously, I'm not at liberty to discuss the details of, of what goes on or who people are because we need to protect their security and security of the people who are there helping. So I, I did see a note earlier this week that we were able to get somebody out of Afghanistan I can't remember what country they were in or what country they went to. Um, but again, that's probably privileged information. So we are, I let it be known that we are trying to help some of the people in Afghanistan that we know of. Obviously, they are all in hiding. So, uh, but yeah, we're, we're doing what we can. You know, we're, as I said, we're not, uh, we're not a governmental organization. We're an NGO with volunteers. We have limited resources and limited funds. So obviously, if you have money, please donate. It helps us to get these people out of dangerous situations. So what's our next comment? Uh, shout outs all the way from the Philippines. Yes, obviously, the Philippines is a, is a heavily Catholic country. 
Uh, I actually spoke in the Philippines uh, in 2015 uh, at the uh, PADAS convention, the uh, Philippine Atheist Society. I uh, was there at their, their annual conference, which is also the general meeting for what is now Humanist International. Uh, I was actually surprised to learn how many uh, atheists are in the Philippines, being in such a heavily Catholic country. Uh, ironically, there was an evangelical Christian conference going on in, in, the, uh, in, in the conference room right next door to us, which was one of those delicious ironies of life. So, anyway, so here I am on my vacation, enjoying a glass of wine, sitting by the beach, waiting for my guest who couldn't join us. So if you have some other questions, please, by all means, fire away. And what else do we have? How about Afghanistan, Afghanistan's atheists under the radical regime? Well, as I said, we're doing what we can do. Uh, and we have someone, good morning from California. Wow, it's early in California. It's got to be, what, five, five in the morning in California, and somebody's watching. So you must be a masochist if you're up that early. So again, if you're just joining us, apologies. We were having technical issues with our guests. Uh, we tried for about 30 minutes to connect. She tried various different devices. She can see and hear me, but for whatever reason, uh, she wasn't coming into the stream properly. So we're uh, just having a, an informal chat as I sit here sipping wine and, and waiting. As I said, I, mes I messaged our guest, John Richards, uh, president of Atheist uh, UK, who is our guest for next week to see if he could join us uh, last minute. So unfortunately, I guess he hasn't seen the message and, and I'm able to join. Uh, no, no new messages, but uh, yeah, well, good morning in California, Nora. Uh, I hope you're. I hope it's not too ungodly early there for you. So, anyway, um, so it doesn't look like this one's gonna is gonna happen. So me just me just rambling on probably is an interesting show. Um, I could maybe give you a little bit about me just just to give John a little bit more time. So uh, I'm Jason. I'm a board member of AAI, I manage the blog. So if you have some something interesting to say and you wanna you want you've got some writings or you want to talk about maybe something you're doing, by all means drop us a line at AAI. I'd be happy to take a look at your writings. We've recently featured some some new talent who've come online um, and reached out to us, including uh, Ellie, uh, who's a who's a very bright young uh, high school student who's written some great papers on evolution. Uh, considering most people don't even have a grasp, most adults don't have a grasp of evolution that Ali who is a 16-year-old high school student, uh, is pretty good. Uh, I also blog under the name of Diogenes of Mayberry. Uh, my first book is out, uh, which is Manifest Insanity, which is a history of the evolution of Judeo-Christian doctrines and how they how they've evolved over time, specifically challenging the, the evangelical Christian narrative that the Bible is literally true and without error and showing where the stories uh, pop up in history. I'm working on a new book. Uh, the working title is Dangerous Ideas, where um, I'm documenting the history of atheism and how it occurred to me that in the span of the last 400 years, we went from burning people at the stake to the global celebrity of, of the Four Horsemen and, and others. And I thought it was an interesting journey how we got from one one extreme to the other. So I've been working on that. I uh, spent all year working on the history of, of the Vatican's rise to dominance in the in the the first and second millennium. I'm up to about 1929, but then I started a new job six weeks ago, which has sucked up all of my time. I'm hoping Sunday to take my laptop down to the beach and go sit by the ocean and, and finish up that chapter. So, all right, we have some new comments. What else has come in? Uh, super early 5 a.m., yes. And uh, keep this up, Manila. Yes, definitely the, the ones in Manila need to keep it up. Uh, the Philippines, uh, for those of you who don't know, is extremely heavily Catholic. Um, it was in 2012, they per, they passed the Reproductive Health Bill after roughly a decade, probably a little bit more, where the Catholic Church had a highly organized campaign against the Reproductive Health Bill, which was essentially giving government money uh, to help fund family planning clinics, uh, probably some, some condoms for poor people. And of course, the Catholic Church fought it uh, vociferously. They even went as far as the something like 150 professors at Ateneo University, which is a Catholic university, signed a petition in favor of the reproductive health bill. And of course, the president of the Catholic Bishops Association of the Philippines then threatened that all of these professors should be charged with heresy. In the 21st century, we have the Spanish Inquisition in the Philippines. So 
anyway, the reproductive health bill passed, but the Philippines definitely needs to uh, have a shift, uh, a secular shift and, and get the Philippines. Uh, my ex is Filipino. I attended her sister's university graduation several years ago, and I was just gobsmacked at the Jesus this and Jesus that all through the graduation ceremony. Like every every fifth word was Jesus this and Jesus that. It was absolutely ridiculous. So the Philippines definitely needs to, uh, I think it's something like 80% Catholic. So that number needs to drop and quickly. Oh, so what else do we have? Uh, oh, we have people joining us from Derby. Oh, well, good afternoon, UK. Well, can you call John Richards over at uh, over at uh, Atheism UK and tell him to check his messages and come online? So, and Ted saying thanks for acknowledging this. So yeah, I, w I would encourage people. Um, I, I met uh, I met at the Humanist International Conference uh, in twenty six. Yeah, 2016, the Humanist International Conference in Taipei. Sorry, no, sorry, sorry. I talked about him. And then in 2017 in Manila at the Humanist International, I met Carlos Celdron, uh, who unfortunately passed away about two years ago. He was young. He was only about 46, had a heart attack, I believe. Um, and I spoke about him in 2016 because he is the first, and I think uh, today the only person charged with blasphemy in the Philippines for insulting Catholic people's uh, feelings. Uh, there's a famous book uh, written by uh, Jose Rizal that was written around, I think, 1896. So back when the, the Filipinos were, the Philippine independence movement was fighting for uh, to get the Catholic Church out and get Spain out. And there was a, a character in the book who was the, a Catholic priest who was basically representative, the antagonist of all that was wrong with Catholicism, um, whose name was, forgive my pronunciation, his name was Damaso. So all Carlos did was go, during this battle for the reproductive health bill, all Carlos did was go into a church and hold up a sign with the name Damaso on it. And that was enough to offend the Catholics, which was exactly Rizal's point, and to be charged with blasphemy he had his conviction upheld by the Supreme Court, and then he fled the Philippines and went to Spain around 20, uh, 2019, I think, where he died in twenty. He died in Spain in 2019, 2020. So uh, I would advise you, like, look up Carlos uh, Celdran, C-E-L-D-R-A-N. He was a great guy. He was funny as hell. He used to conduct uh, tours in Intramuros in Manila. Um, I really miss Carlos. He was a great guy. Look up Rizal's book. Um, um, I can't remember the, the name of the book, but if you look up Carlos, if you look up Rizal's uh, written history, you'll find it and you can look it up. I've been meaning to read it. Uh, okay, so no more new comments. Uh, again, we've got 17 people watching. If you're just joining, uh, we were having some technical issues. Our guest was unable to make it. Um, our our ex-Muslim activist in Malaysia she was having technical issues. We, we tried for 30 minutes to get her to connect. And for whatever reason, we just we just couldn't get her on the stream. So I've just been rambling on about stuff and taking a few comments from people. So anyway, I apologize that we, we didn't get to our, our guest this week. Again, next week, we have John Richards from Atheist UK coming up. We have Chris Johnson coming up. Chris Johnson, I actually recorded a couple weeks ago, but I was uh, having some issues. My microphone was faulty. And uh, I didn't know it until the end. So we're going to have to re-record with Chris. And again, we have Steven Pinker coming up. Uh, he was trying to be here in November, but Steven Pinker is a busy guy. Uh, he said December. So we're going to have Steven Pinker coming up uh, shortly to talk about his book, Rationality. So um, everybody who's tuned in, I, I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for your support for AI. Again, because we're, we had this ex-Muslim activist on. The Atheist Support Network always needs your help. Please go to our page if you can. Give what you can. If you can't, you know, moral support is always good. So, again, thank you to everybody. So we should probably wrap up this week's uh, this week's podcast. Again, I'm here in Phuket, enjoying my glass of wine, sitting by the beach, and we'll catch everybody next week with Atheism UK. So thanks, everybody, and take care. Bye-bye.